OK, so we've got our form. We've got two objects or controls within the form. What we need to do next is we need to look at renaming these controls so that they've got meaningful, sensible names. So I'm going to start off on the label. Now, the program we're going to write is the Hello World program, which is historically the first program you will ever write in any programming language. Um, it's just something that has been done for, for years and years now. So, selecting the label, you'll see that a property name and it's called label1. I'm going to change that to LBL. LBL being a prefix that represents the word label and you'll see the use of that later on as we start coding. And I'm going to call it um, text area. Okay. You'll notice as well that I've used a, an uppercase T. Uh, what I will say is that names of variables shouldn't have spaces in. If you, if you want to put spaces in, generally speaking, we put underscores in, like so. Um, it's a preference thing if you want to use underscores to space things out. Um, if you want to use an uppercase T to start the, the actual name off, it's entirely up to you. Everybody has their own ways of doing this. There's no real set way. The only thing I will say is that you must use the prefixes. So every name of a control must have a prefix. Okay? Now, if I was to name this LBL lowercase text area, it's still the same name, but because I've used the lowercase t, it's different as far as the code is concerned. It, it views uppercase and lowercase completely different. In other words, it's case sensitive. So just be careful of that. Okay? Hope that makes sense. And you'll notice that in the properties drop down now, my label has changed from label 1 to label text area. Okay, go into the farm. I'm going to rename the farm and I'm going to call it FRM main. Okay, it's my main farm, so it seems like a sensible name to me. And again, you'll notice that the name has changed within this drop down box, but you'll also notice that it's also changed there in the properties explorer window and it's also changed in our project window. Okay. Moving on, the command button, and I'm going to call this CMD Say Hello. Okay, and again you'll notice that CMD Say Hello has appeared. So we've renamed all our objects now to sensible, meaningful names. The next thing we need to do, you'll notice at the top of Farm 1 it's got the word Farm 1 in. We don't want that. We want to change that to specify what this form is actually showing. So we're going to look at another property within the form and it's called caption. Make sure you've got the form selected. You can either select it from your um, project window or you can either select it from your properties window drop down box. Okay? Just check at the top that form main is selected. And you'll see the caption there and you'll see form 1. I'm going to delete that. As I delete that you'll see the text disappear. Okay. And I'm going to write in hello world program. Okay. Now a lot of usual questions that are asked now is can I use spaces in this? Why can I use spaces in this and not in the name? Well, the name is an identifier that the, the code uses to identify a particular object. This is just a property within the object. So a caption can have spaces in because basically it's just a string, it's a bit of text. Okay. Go into the label. So select the label again either from your project window or from the properties drop down box. And again that has a caption. Label one. I'm not going to delete that. I'm not going to write anything in that, okay? Because what I want to happen is when I run this program, when we click on the command button, it will say hello world in the label. Okay. The command button, not surprisingly, has a, a caption, so make sure you've got the command button selected. And I'm going to change it to say hello world. Okay. And you will see that the command button text is change to say hello world. Okay. So I've got my interface ready. I'll just resize the farm to 
to fit everything in nicely, nice and snug. Okay, now we're going to look at um, a few new buttons, a few new things that we've not looked at previously. To run this program, there's a start button or the play button as I generally refer to it as. And you'll notice at the side that the break button or the pause button and the end button or the stop button are greyed out. Okay. To run the program, I click the start button. Now what you'll notice is the pause button, the stop button have appeared, and you'll also notice that your IDE has totally changed. All the windows pretty much have disappeared. And our program Oh, sorry, our project window with the form in looks totally different. Okay, it's basically running the program now. Now there's no code behind it, so there's nothing really happening. There is things happening actually, um, but we'll get to that later on. So I'm clicking on the say "Hello World" and nothing's happening. What we want to appear is "Hello World" in this area here where the labels situated. So we need to write the code to do that. So let's just stop the program.